hey guys, there's a video that was sent to me through a friend that is a pastor from North Carolina. You've probably seen it. Um, I received an email from the HRC that was sending a huge mass letter to this pastor. Uh, he basically stated that homosexuals should be put in concentration camps. That is completely an utter ignorance on so many different levels. I'm going to read to you just a, a basic little statement that um, my brother, who is a studying to be a youth pastor, um, I believe he's Southern Baptist, um, but he's in North Carolina, um, right around the same area this pastor's who spoke these words lives. And that's obviously where his church is. Um, now my brother posted this and he stole it from another classmate of his and they obviously go to a Christian college since he's studying to be a youth pastor. I hope these gay bashing preachers are ready to admit to contributing to the downfall of American Christianity. It's sad that these preachers are bashing gays from the pulpit. What's even more sad is the misrepresentation they are giving Christians. To those that are turned off to Christ, Christianity, or maybe even religion altogether, because of these events, please realize this is not Christianity. This is not grace, mercy, forgiveness, love, or compassion. There is only desire to condemn and discriminate. This is not Christianity. Don't judge the vitality of Christianity by those who supposedly represent it. Real quick, I'm going to play the main portion of the video so you can kind of see where he's standing and where like people like my brother who are standing who are Christians. I really don't have anything in faith anymore, um, but I have a lot of friends who do. So this right here is going to basically represent how just because there's one pastor that's going to condemn you and throw you out to basically rot, there are other pastors who think the exact opposite. So real quick, here's, going, here's the video of what that pastor stated. And I want you guys to leave me comments down below um, or even send me a video response to your thoughts on what the pastor said and also the thoughts on what the, my brother's friend posted. And let me know what you think. I'm going to end this video with what that pastor said to really let that kind of soak into your mind, and then I really do want to hear responses from you guys. So just let me know. Peace, love, and lollipops. See ya. Of our president getting up and saying that it was all right for two women to marry or two men to marry, I tell you right now, I was disappointed bad uh, but I tell you right there, as as sorry as you can get, the Bible's again it, God's again it, I'm again it, and if you've got any sense, you're again it. I had a way, I figured a way out, a way to get rid of all the lesbians and queers, but I couldn't get it past the Congress. <laughs> Build a great, big, large fence, hundred. 50 or 100 mile long, put all the lesbians in there, fly over and drop some food. Do the same thing with the queers and the homosexuals and have that fence electrified till they can't get out. Feed them and, and you know what? In a few years they'll die out. Do you know why they can't reproduce? 